previously on my channel. My legs felt so, so bad for like four days. I didn't do a long run in my eight weeks out. I'm not saying I'm not doing it. I'm just, I don't know. People, I'm just gonna turn this off, it's too loud. Guys, ah! today's a good day. I had nine, count them, nine hours of sleep last night. Feeling fire, feeling lit. So, I don't know guys, I've been going back and forth with this freaking race like all day. And you know what, like one of my friends sent me this really good article and it was like nine things you don't think about when running your first marathon. And it was like all the precursors and stuff like during the, like the race. And the number one thing, and I think I'm experiencing this the most, is the fear of it. The closer I get to this race, I am literally so afraid. I'm so afraid I'm not going to do it. I'm afraid that my body's going to give out. I'm terrified that... Um, I'm not gonna make it within the time frame. Like, there's a lot of things I fear. So, I I feel there are times where I just wanna give up and I am not going to let that fear sink in. There's a lot of like things that, you know, I have to, I have to do, but yeah, I just wanted to keep you guys posted and just let you know how I was feeling and yeah, so. We'll see guys, I'm just gonna listen to my body. That's the biggest thing, like, I just, I have to make sure that I keep it intact. Like, that is my biggest concern. I know right now a lot of my issue is mental roadblocks, but my body is gonna be a blocker too. So I'm just gonna try and keep that as in shape and as healthy as I possibly can and see where yeah, we go. I kinda wanted to sit down, chit chat with you guys. Um, even the videos have been slacking. I don't know if it's just like, I went go, 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 and kind of just hit a wall, and I just need to kind of decompress. But yeah, it's just, um, it's my hashtag mood right now. So I'm being real with you guys. I'm trying to video as much as I can because I don't want to like get into this rut and not show you like during the rut how I feel, where my head is at, and I, you know, want to show you how I get out of it and how long it takes me. So this is the reality of it. And uh, I'll be dead honest with you, it sucks. I absolutely hate feeling this way. Um, and I'm really trying to motivate myself to, you know, get better and do better. I'm just gonna keep on trucking, see where we go. I'm trying not to put a ton of pressure on myself because I swear I think the fear is coming in. And I fear failure more than I feel fear anything else. And I think that's kind of like what's psyching me out is that I just fear I'm not gonna get there. And right now I'm like mentally putting myself in that mindset where I just don't wanna get there. So I've really gotta switch my own mindset and I've really got a truck. So you know what, I just gotta keep on, keep on keeping on, so. I'm going on a run. I'm sick of this guys. I'm sick and tired of telling myself no. I'm sick of just, yeah. So we're going, we're going bitches. I look like hell, I don't care. I feel like hell, don't wanna go where we're going. So DJ has volunteered to walk with me because at the pace that I go, he'll be probably quicker than me. And we've saddled up the dogs. Carl. And uh, Carl. Paulo. Paulo. Carl needs to run the most, so that's where we're gonna start because Carl's looking well, pleasantly plump, to say the least. He uh, he likes to eat Apollo's dog food serving as well, so that's why he looks like a lean athlete. And, well. He's husky, and he's a husky. <laughs> That's not as good as what I've been doing. However, I feel so good. Literally, like, amazing. I don't know if it was because I ran outside. Now, I haven't run outside in a really long time. Carl, I'm really pleased, like, with how good it felt to get back out there. And uh, I'm just, uh, I'm gonna keep on trucking. Yeah, guys, I'm really, really, really proud. Like, this is such a huge success for me because, like I said, these last couple weeks, well, as you guys know, like, there's really no footage, there's nothing, because it's just been really hard for me to get back on track, but 
feeling awesome and uh let's uh hope for a better week you know going forward I don't so. think you guys have ever seen me with my hair done i am not working out today because we have dinner with dj's family so my night will be basically accounted for yeah, I just wanted to get on and tell you guys the plan, but also show you that I am capable of actually doing my hair sometimes. I'm pretty pleased with how this week is going. It's been a super, like, motivating week. Yesterday was such a breakthrough in my mental, like, blockade that I've had up. Um, and I'm so grateful for that because I was seriously just, like, feeling super down and just did not want to do anything hi people so i'm leaving work and i don't know if you can kind of see the raindrops on my window but it's disgusting out so i need to go run i want to do like three miles i am also torn because every now and then now and again i get these bits of inspiration for painting now guys i'm no artist so relax but i have this idea and i really want to execute it so, do I run or do I paint? <laughs> Question of the you hour. Guys see how gnarly it is outside? Let's travel the very long stretch to my gym. Guys, look at the sky. It looks light on camera. Trust me, it's not. Okay, I don't want to break the camera, so we're going to go quickly. Yes. Boom. Shut this because, well, we don't need serial murders coming to get me. So, let's get this thing started. <laughs> the volume, yet again. I'm having issues. <laughs> Cold case files for the win. Guys, I did three miles. I'm so excited. I feel like it's been forever, so I feel really, really pleased with myself. I'm dripping. Hold on. Huh? I got it. What'd you get? All three miles. Yeah. So we're walking to the Valpo Brew Fest. We've had these tickets forever. Apparently it's great. It sells out every year. So we're gonna see. Uh, we stayed up way too late. We partied like 21 year olds yesterday. And this is gonna be a rough. So didn't get the run in. I did get to go chase after my idiot dog Apollo who ran away today. Yep, caught him though. We did catch him, thank God. If I didn't, I wouldn't be here right now. I'd be sobbing on the couch. But yeah, so he's not confined. And so, yeah. Dog prison. Yeah, he's in dog prison. Dog prison. We had a little he's in trouble. We Guys, you should have go. seen the fucking smug little look he had on his face too. He ran to a house with a bunch of girl dogs trying to get himself a little action. He's, he's fixed though, so no action would have commenced. But uh, you know, it's the thrill of the hunt. So yeah, anyway, keep you guys posted on all these beer choices. Okay, DJ, tell us, what kind of beers are you expecting? Cold ones. Well, duh. <laughs> Anything that tastes like Miller Lite, but it's craft. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Guys, so we just did our first like terrain race. We're <laughs> super muddy. Can you even see this? You should see my shoes. So we thought when we signed up that it was gonna be a one mile terrain race. Yep. <laughs> we were lied to. Um, it was a 5K terrain race mm -hmm. and it has been pouring like mad in the area. So it was extra difficult, but we did it. We killed this game. And now we're going to get food, so I will insert some pictures for you guys, the before and the aftermath of our little race. Mud up or shut up! Eh. Hello guys. Okay, so I'm going to make this real quick. So, 
Today we're going into Fleet Feet, which is not my normal run store, but I've gone to this place before. They're awesome in terms of getting you like fitted. They take their time with you. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna get new shoes because new developments in this run game and I'm so pumped to share them with you. But for now, let's go try on some shoes and see which ones we get. Perfect, you turn on and walk back. So pretty much we're taking a look at the way you walk and what we can do to kind of help out with that. Okay. So on these first steps, we want to make sure you're not really turning that foot out and you can see right there, staying pretty straight there, so that's good. Uh, turning out just a little bit at the end, but you know, in general you're walking pretty straight. Um, you can see right there, landing a little bit hard on that heel there, so yeah. you can see kind of putting some pressure there, so we want to get you a shoe. Uh, with a little bit more, you know, cushioning by the heel, take yeah. some pressure off there. Um, but other than that, on the walk there, you're looking pretty good. Uh, so we'll turn around quick and then take a look at the walk back. So notice right there, kind of landing a little bit on the outside of your foot there. Okay. You can see right there. And then what you're going to do right here, you can see your foot's leaning out a bit. Yeah. Um, and we'll be able to see right here, kind of same thing. You just kind of leaning out a little bit on that step. It's not a whole ton, but okay. it is just something to keep an eye out for. Okay. You can see kind of good right there, that whole um, leaning out. So what that's called is supernation, yeah. which means you're gonna be basically rolling out and kind of breaking down the outsides of your shoes a little bit faster. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, so a lot of people tend to roll their feet in, okay. which is why most shoes come with this support on the inside, or okay. a stability shoe. Um, newer shoes have this guide rail on the outside as well, oh. which basically whether you roll in or out is going to keep your feet walking straight. Okay. Both sides. So that's kind of shoe I'll put you in to okay. kind of get that. Uh, yeah. Thanks. So this one specific is called the Gaviota. Uh, it's going to have that guide rail support we're talking about on okay. the sides. So you should be able to feel it in this one. Ooh. Just kind of. I kind of like the one. It wasn't meant to show you DJ's head. It was meant to prove that I am ready to go to the gym at 5.30 in the morning and literally all of me is dying. Hello people, welcome to I don't know what week out. I think it's five, I'm not sure. I've been really disorganized with this whole running thing. Um, but I've gone through and done some soul searching and I had, Someone tell me, someone really close to me say that they would run this with me and it was a complete revamp of motivation. But needless to say, I'm a bit behind in training. Um, I'm gonna go run three miles today. Uh, my Fitbit is dead, so it'll have to be on the treadmill. Am I thrilled? No, but at least it's getting done. Got a new GU packet. It's the coffee cold brew. It's got like caffeine in it. There we go. So we're gonna give this puppy a whirl. I got it mostly just to see what the caffeine did. <coughs> <coughs> oh, that smells rough. Okay, I was being dramatic. Okay, pro tip. Don't smell it before eating it. Because, well, it smells gross, but it tastes okay, so. Guys, I'm not even lying to you. It's 6 a.m. and the parking lot looks as if it's 6 p.m. Okay, let's go see what kind of nonsense happens when it's the 6 a.m. crowd. Told you it was like 5.30 in the morning. So I did my three miles, guys. It's not even 7 a.m. I feel uber accomplished. I don't know why I don't do this, but 
I am still a little tired, but that just be like could be because I'm just not used to it. So I have my coffee. I'm gonna go home, cook breakfast, shower. I stink, not necessarily in that order. Okay guys, really quick, I completely forgot that I didn't tell you about my new shoes because I got the new Hoka's. I just decided that I wanted to try something different. So I ran on the treadmill and I find that the treadmill hurts my knees worse. And actually, my feet feel really good. My knees feel good, my hips, my like groin area, like all the places that used to hurt have not. So day one of the Hoka's, Fire. We are doing three miles, so I'm gonna knock out this 5K real fast. I have an Oktoberfest to go to. Uh, Taylor's doing this with me, which I'm so freaking excited about. Like, literally, I'm freaking pumped. So she did this earlier. She's doing this, like, to help me along, and I, like, if she's gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I can't let her down, because she's literally stepped up to the plate in a phenomenal way. So... Yeah, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get it done, I'm gonna watch some true crime, blah, 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 and wow. yeah. So, I'm done now, I have earned my Oktoberfest. So, five miles tomorrow, guys, that's what's on deck. I'll get some footage of Oktoberfest for you, and uh, yeah, man, I feel really good, so. morning people so I just want to like put it this way on Monday it was 90 degrees 90 for those that cannot hear because I cannot enunciate in the morning so it was 90 and then today is Saturday and it is 45 degrees so for all of you who live in the Midwest you know my pain for all of you who don't I'm jealous so yeah I am going round two of yoga. I'm doing it with another friend. Um, she's always wanted to do goat yoga, so I'm here to make dreams come true. Yes, I'm super excited, so I get to play with the little screaming goats. And I'm gonna get some footage of that just because who doesn't need to see more goats in their life? Uh, no one said no one ever. We all need to see more goats. So doing that, and then today, guys, a five mile run is on the schedule. Yeah, busy, fun-filled, physical day. So. I gotta shit real bad, like real bad. And like this turtle head is coming out and I don't know where the bathroom is and there's no way I'm doing yoga like this. I will literally shit my pads. So I gotta find that, but I'm like too nervous because my friend's not here and I'm not going alone, you know, because, well, well murderers. We have a goat dilemma. They didn't put the fence up right, so the goats are jumping and running all over the place. Like, I could see her labia. Her labia. I'd show you, but you know, it's it's none of your business, but she's making it ours. <laughs> All right guys, I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna run outside alone. If I don't come back, I was kidnapped, tortured, raped, and murdered. Not necessarily in that order. Okay, goodbye.